the immigration backlog is something that your Home Secretary was talking about yesterday. You have this target to abolish it by the end of the year. She was suggesting that you may not meet it at the current rate. Are you worried about that? Well, it's good to be out this morning with our immigration enforcement team seeing firsthand their work to tackle illegal working. That's an important strand of our work to stop the boats and tackle illegal migration. And that's because the criminal gangs use a business model that tempts people here with the offer of black market work. It's not right, which is why we've increased resources for immigration enforcement. We've increased the number of uh, raids like the one I was on this morning by 50 percent, and we've doubled the number of arrests. But we're not complacent. There's lots of work to do, which is why it's so important that we pass our bill through Parliament, our Stop the Boats bill, which will mean that if you come here illegally, you will not be able to stay, we will be able to detain me and then swiftly remove you. Uh, I was already expecting the Provisions Committee report to be published later today. Will MPs get a vote on the findings to actually accept, and, uh, accept the recommendations from the committee? Well, I can't speculate. Uh, obviously, I haven't seen the report yet, but these are typically matters for the House, not the government, and it's the House of Commons and Parliament that would decide the appropriate course of action. Now, on a personal level, do you think Boris Johnson should be allowed to be an MP? We know that the report has found that he was their target. Uh, you're talking about a report that I haven't seen and no one else has seen. It wouldn't be right to comment on it in advance of it coming out and being published. Um, we've heard enough about it. Boris Johnson has stepped down because we know what the report has said. If you're not willing to talk about it now, are you willing to do an interview with us after the report comes out once you've had a chance to read it? Uh, as you say, you're talking about a report that I haven't seen, no one has seen yet. It wouldn't be right to comment on it before that's happened. And these are matters for that House of Commons and Parliament will deal with them in the normal way that it does. Boris, I, I appreciate you don't want to talk about it now, but the report's coming out in a few hours' time. We know exactly what it's going to say. You're the Prime Minister, you're the leader of the Conservative Party, we've been talking about it for weeks. Are you willing to do an interview with us once the report is out, once you've had a chance to read it? And digest it. I said you know about a report that I haven't even seen yet so it's hard for me to comment on it but we are well, having an we, we, we are we are actually ha <laughs> well what we are doing is having an interview now talking about tackling illegal migration I set out five priorities at the beginning of this year to half inflation grow the economy reduce debt cut waiting lists, and to stop the boats I think that's what the country wants me and the government to be focused on that's what we are focused on that's why I was out this morning seeing firsthand the work of our illegal migration enforcement team yeah discussions about you and Boris Johnson, the talk about him misleading Parliament, the report that's coming out today. Are you worried about what people at home are thinking? I think what people at home want is for the government to focus on their priorities, and that's what I'm doing. I set out five very clear priorities at the beginning of this year to halve inflation, grow the economy, reduce debt, cut waiting lists, and to stop the boats. I'm confident that that's what the country wants government to deliver. That's the country's priorities. Those are my priorities. This morning I've been out with our teams who are tackling uh, illegal working, and the enforcement operations that we've put in place are working. We've doubled the number of arrests this year, increased the number of raids by 50%, and for the first time since the small boats phenomenon emerged, the number of crossings are actually down this year. That shows us that our plan is working, but we're not complacent. There's lots more to do, and that's why we're going to crack on and pass our new bill through Parliament, which will mean that if you come here illegally, you will not be able to stay. We will be able to detain you and remove you. That's the right response to this crisis. That's what the government is doing. And last question, Boris. I'm going to ask you that question again. The Privileges report comes out in a matter of hours. You've not answered my questions because you haven't had a chance to read it. Will you do an interview with us later today once you've had a chance to look through that report? I, I, I do interviews all